All right, uh, number two. What did you guys think this was? I can take this line. Um, so at least just from this view, I see hyperkeratosis and acanthosis. Um, it's pretty kind of thin and a little bit more plate-like, not like super dramatic acanthosis. Um, right. And I think for this one, the diagnosis came a little bit more clear when we zoomed into higher power. Okay. Well, what would you think from low power? What did you, like, you know, what was your initial impression when you first looked at it from low power? So some sort of acanthoma, like a seb or a flat ward or a yeah. large cell acanthoma. Those are all kind of Perfect. in my differential. I'd, um, add, I'd add solar lentigo to that list personally. I feel like flat, thin sebs and solar lentigos have a lot of overlap to me. I, I kind of think they're on a spectrum, honestly. Okay. So what do you think it is going closer? I think it's a large cell acanthoma. Yeah. Uh, the cells are certainly large, but they don't look atypical for like an actinic keratosis. And then I think when we like go over to the side, you can kind of see a more abrupt cutoff between like the large cells and the smaller cells. This one doesn't show it as beautifully as some, but there, that's pretty good. Yeah, you can see the normal keratinocytes in the background are kind of small, and all of a sudden they get really big, but they're all kind of uniformly large. And there's uh, usually orthokeratin rather than para on top. So some people call these large cell acanthoma. I've always kind of conceptually thought of these as basically solar lentigo with big cells. That's a kind of simple way for me to remember them because they have a lot of features that look like a, a flat seb um, or a macular seb or keratosis or a solar lentigo. But the cells are quite a bit larger. And also sometimes I, I feel like sometimes when I th I'm thinking about this, I feel like I often see solar lentigo and pigmented actinic keratosis kind of intermingled together in the skin. Uh, not so much in this particular example. So sometimes I'll also, if I'm thinking about this, I'll end up saying, oh, it's pigmented a a a AK plus solar lentigo. So sometimes I do that. But um, in my former practice, I never really used the term large cell acanthoma because I think my dermatologists weren't, weren't used to us using that term. And I thought it would get me phone calls asking like, hey, what does this mean? What do I do with this? But I think of these as just benign lesions that are probably on a spectrum with solar lentigo. That's my conceptual way of thinking of it. So good.